Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shanda. I have been wanting to make this video for a while now. I just like feel super awkward in front of the camera. So um, I'm just kind of going for it right now. So bear with me, but I just want to tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, why I'm here is mostly because of Instagram. <laughs> um, I kind of just got going on this fit kick a few years back and um, started up like my Instagram after starting some Katie Hearn challenges and like I just got super inspired by a bunch of other women you know over YouTube and over Instagram and doing challenges and stuff that like I thought I would just tell you guys a little bit about myself so anyways my name is Shanda obviously I will be 24 next month I live in Denver Colorado and I pretty much like always been a heavier set girl always like I've always battled my weight struggle bus big time but you know what I'm here now and I've learned so much over the years and I just wanted to kind of share like my journey with you guys a little bit but I don't want to sit here and like talk your guys' ear off to where you're super super bored and whatnot but anyways so let's see I started my weight loss back in 2013 um, I was in a not very good relationship and with that came a lot of like unhappiness and obviously I just kind of lost myself guys like I was so busy trying to love and help someone else that I just I didn't love myself and it sucked and I paid the consequences for it and with that came a lot of stress eating a lot of binge eating a lot of um, just like emotional eating and stuff like I was going to Taco Bell like late at night just getting like burritos and eating them in my car by myself and yeah that's a deep dark secret but anyways I was like I was doing that and I was eating like I would have dinner and then I would pour like three bowls of cereal and I was like what are you doing girl like why I don't know it seemed like it was comfort you know comfort food and you know I guess it just took me down the wrong road guys and so anyways my best friend Jessica Ball her mom's an herb life coach and she like called me up she's like hey Shan do you want to do this I believe it was an eight-week challenge his herb life challenge and I was like you know what yes I'm gonna do it like I am sick and tired of starting shit and like failing or I hate to say failing but you know trial and error all the time all the time like I was always like you know I would do so good and then lose some weight and then I'd gain it all back like I just I couldn't find anything that like I could maintain ever I felt like it was impossible and I mean I would like go to the gym hop on a treadmill for like eight to ten minutes like run maybe not even a mile and be like oh, I'm out like you know that shit was hard <laughs> so anyways um that's kind of like how I used to be and I did grow up like playing competitive softball my whole life so I mean I did train as a team and I like was super active and stuff I just obviously like had no idea what portion control was or how to have a balanced diet I just like really ate whatever the hell I wanted when I wanted and it um caught up to me <laughs> so <laughs> anyways um so Michelle, I went over to her house to do the Herbalife Challenge. We took before pictures, before measurements. I stepped on the scale. I, at this point, like, I knew I let myself go. But I, like, I was, like, 218 pounds. And I was, like, okay, get your shit together, dude. Like, keep in mind, I'm, like, 5'2", so I'm, like, pretty short. And I just, like, I knew, like, that was the heaviest I've ever been. And for me, and I just, I was miserable, guys. So, anyways started that eight week challenge I wasn't lifting or anything I was just like oops what is this sorry um I wasn't lifting or anything I just did like um started going on runs at night and I was having like my shake in the morning and then I kind of like changed my eating I was just eating healthier and stuff and I lost 25 pounds and I won that challenge it was freaking awesome I think I won like $300 or something and that was just the beginning for me I was like so motivated by myself after achieving that that I was like I knew I was gonna keep going 
And so, um, Jessica Ball, my friend again, she was like, introduced me to Katie Hearn. She's like, dude, do you know who Katie Hearn is? I'm like, no, tell me, like, I wanna know. And so she like showed me her Instagram and oh my gosh, I was instantly inspired by Katie Hearn. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, this chick is freaking hot. Like, teach me your ways, you know? And so I signed up for Katie Hearn's 2015 Winter Challenge and changed my life ever since, guys. Like, literally has changed my life. So, pretty much, it's $200. You get an eight-week workout plan, five days a week lifting. Um, each day is broken down into a different body group. So, you know, like, Monday's usually, I believe, um, legs. <laughs> Love legs. Uh, like, quad-focused or something. And then, um, Tuesday, you have, like, shoulders, tries, chest. Um, Wednesdays, back and bys. Thursday, leg day. My favorite, more, like, glute-focused. Fifth day, you have, like, full body workouts. Like, it's great. It's great. And then you, like, incorporate your cardio into that. Like, it's just awesome. Like, everything's written out for you. How many reps you're doing, um, how many sets you're doing, what exercise. It's um, demonstrated by, on her video page, KH Videos on Instagram, with a hashtag on how to do the workout, which is great because I'm a visual learner. I got to see stuff to learn how to do it. And so that was awesome. And then um, she doesn't like give you like specific meal plans, but she teaches you how to track your macros, which your macros are your carbs, your fat, and your protein intake. So she gives you like, um, she breaks down those three categories and gives you a list of foods that are like good sources of protein, good sources of fat, good sources of carb. And you kind of just can kind of go off of that, you know? Um, and then you track your macros that you calculate on her website, www.katiehearnfit.com. And everyone's macros are different, guys. Like, I could tell you my numbers and they probably won't work for you. So you have to kind of just like trust the process and learn your body. So it's gonna be based off your height, your weight, your, um, your age and your goal, whether you're bulking, whether you're leaning out, whether you're trying to maintain, like, you calculate your own numbers and you gotta trust them, you gotta work with them, you gotta train hard, and you just kinda gotta see how your body responds. Like, I kinda found my maintenance macros on my own just over the past like three years, like just kinda seeing how my body reacts. Like personally, my body works better on a higher fat, lower carb diet. As in like some people might work better on a higher carb, lower, lower fat diet. You know, it's just everyone's so different. So anyways, um, she teaches you how to do that, and you track it on my fitness pal. It's a free app on your phone. Like, when I first started, I was, like, going around like a crazy lady, like, scanning all this shit, and people are like, are you serious right now? And I was like, mm-hmm, yeah, I'm serious. So, <laughs> like, I literally, um, and I, you know, it's kind of funny. When I first started tracking macros and stuff, like, I'm not joking. Like, people thought I was crazy. Like, but... You know what? I have gained so much out of it and I've learned so much because you literally see visually how like what your body is intaking, how many carbs you're intaking, how many fats, how many protein, um, the serving sizes of things, you know, like I had no freaking idea like, you know, that things were broken down into certain serving sizes and how many carbs are really in a, I don't know, the pop tart or something, you know, like it's crazy crazy and with flexible dieting aka tracking your macros and stuff you don't deprive yourself guys like if you want a freaking oreo you can make an oreo fit into your day and that's what i love about it because when you deprive yourself that's when you like start to go nuts and that's when you like you know you eventually backpedal because you are missing out on foods that you really do want and that you can have it's just all about moderation moderation Consistency. I can't preach that enough. Like seriously, you have to trust the process. You have to be patient. You have to work hard. Like I know everyone, like I used to look for the easy way out all the time guys. And people would be like, or my dad, especially like, you just need to work out and eat healthy. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I'd always like think there was another way to do it, you know, without having to work out or without having to like, you know, eat super healthy and 
that's really what it comes down to, guys, is an, a good, balanced diet. Um, like, food, like certain foods out of moderation. Like, I still have my one cheat meal a week. And, I mean, I will eat whatever I want for that meal. Not that day, that meal. After I worked hard all week and I, like, killed my workouts, like, your body, you deserve that, you know? And, um... That's when you can like treat yourself with food is when you work so hard and like, you know, and your body needs it. Like your metabolism like it throws it off and I promise you're not going to get fat over one cheat meal. I promise you I have one almost every week and I just enjoy it. So seriously, um, I can go on and on and I want to talk to you guys some more. That's kind of why I did this video. So comment below if you have any questions or what you guys want me to make more videos of and I will do that because I seriously enjoy this lifestyle. I'm very passionate about it. I'm still learning. I'm still, you know, I'm still not where I want to be but, you know, I have lost 60 pounds and I've come a long ways mentally and physically and I'm all about like the positive vibes and helping you guys out. That's another thing with the Katie Hearn challenge. Like the community is amazing. All the girls are great. They're such positive, uplifting women who want to help you and watch you succeed. And like, I just love it because that's the type of people that I want in my life, that I want to be like, that I want to surround myself with. And it's just so important to be happy, you guys. And life is short and you just have to make the best of it. And yeah. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Sorry if this was awkward or anything. But, um, yeah. I love you guys. Thanks for all your support.